All right. Here we go. Do you hear me, Aiden? Yeah, I can hear you. All right. So we're going to get started here then. Um, I'm Chris Houseman. I'm here with the CDPSL, Collectively Evolving Platform uh, Sports League. So we're starting this new podcast here. So basically the goal here, we're just going to be introducing an athlete and a coach every week. And then sometime we'll actually get um, a sponsor on here to talk a little bit too. So we're just going to chat for about 10 to 15 minutes. Um, just get people introduced to you and, uh, you know, make them aware. So you cool with that? Mm-hmm. All right, so your name is Aiden Chase, right? Yeah. All right, tell us a little bit, bit about yourself, where you go to school, graduating class, uh, sports you play, things like that. Uh, I'm a freshman. I go to Cathedral High School, uh, class of 2025. Uh, I, I play football and basketball. All right, what position do you play for football? Uh, receiver and corner. Have you always played those positions? Has that been what you've been doing since you started, or you got like a transition? Yeah, I've always played those positions. So, who, so who's your favorite player? Then, like, who motivated you to want to play those positions? Uh, probably Deion Sanders. Deion, that's a good one. That's a good one for sure. All right. So, what about basketball? What position do you play there? Guard. Guard. And who's your favorite player there? Russell Westbrook. Westbrook, that's a good one, too. He's a beast. All right, so I noticed um, in your bio you said that you wanted to be the first uh, NBA NFL athlete. Um, that's a pretty big goal to do. You really think that's you really think you make that happen? Yeah. All right, I feel so, like I can make it happen. That's cool. I mean, that'd be cool to see for sure. That would be um, quite the feat. And I noticed that you got um, making education your number one priority, which is um, I find that uh, great, too, because – a lot of people think that they can make it to the league just all sports. I mean, some people get lucky and make it there, but you got to have something to fall back on just in case, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's good. What's your favorite class, actually, in school? Uh, I don't have a favorite class. You don't got one? No. That's all right. Well, as long as you're doing your thing in there, uh, making it happen on the field and in the classroom, that's the most important thing the coaches have always said to me. Uh, especially when I was playing. Um, classroom is important. Can't forget about it. The best leaders are leaders on and off the field, right? Yeah. So, you, so you're a freshman. Are you are you playing on the freshman team, junior varsity or varsity? Uh, for football, playing freshman and basketball, JV. That's cool. Being a freshman, playing on junior varsity, that's definitely a lot of something a lot of people don't say they get to do, so – uh, be humble with it, you know, make the best out of it and uh, keep doing your thing, of course. All right. So you're a, you're a CE stars athlete, right? Yeah. Uh, what got, how'd you find out about it? What got you into it? Um, I was doing travel football for EFD and then coach Scott and Jaden, they introduced me to it. Okay. That's cool. So what, what has CE um, stars done for you? Um, they, uh, just got me better playing against better competition and, um, just guarding bigger, bigger, uh, receivers and on the offensive side going against better corners and Coach Scott and Coach Smitty, they, uh, helps me like they were post my stuff, get me out there. Of course, yeah, that's good to actually play against people higher caliber because, of course, that's going to make you play better, prepare you because um, we used to hear it all the time, proper preparation prevents poor performance. I'm sure you've heard it. Um, the better people you go against, the better you're going to have to be yourself, and then the better outcome you'll get. So that's nice for sure. Um, so with doing the CE Stars, you get to play football more year-round, right? So you're not having a large break in between um seasons you're getting to perfect your craft so that's for sure something that can definitely benefit you in the long run don't you think yeah i feel it can help me longer yeah so do you guys focus on different things drills like what are some things you do differently at a ce practice versus a, a high school practice uh sometimes like it's in a way more structured 
like when we when we move from drill to drill and just the drills that we do. Yeah, that's fair. That's good. So it's good to have a nice switch up, not doing the same thing every day. Uh, seven on seven is more fun, though. Let's be honest. It's uh, yeah. It's all focus on the skill, guys. Not that we're forgetting about the big men down low, but uh, you get to just see all the action. So I played seven on seven too. It was really fun. I enjoyed it. It's a good time. So uh, yeah, it's good for you for sure. So how's your season going so far with Cathedral? Uh, it's going good. What do you got we're so far? Eight and zero. Eight and zero. That's pretty good. You guys think you're gonna make our last game is this Saturday? Who are you guys playing? Center Grove. Oh, Center Grove's eight and zero too. That's gonna be a good game. All right. Yeah. So eight and zero. You guys are um, gonna make it into the playoffs, of course. So, um, what are your goals? So, what were your goals before the season started, and did you reach them this year? Uh, my goal was just to play my role and not give up a lot of catches and get picks. And I feel I did that uh, this season. You got so far this year? How many picks? Yeah. Six. Six? That's pretty good. That's that's, that's the fun dig stats over there. So that's good, man. That's really good. Um, so that's, that's some good personal goals for yourself. What about team goals? What were your goals for the whole team as a whole? Uh, my goal was to just win, go undefeated this season, and just to make new bonds and friendships. Yeah, that hey, that can happen easily, especially on a football team. There's so many people. You guys are all fighting for one goal, so as long as everybody's mind is right, you can make it happen. But you guys are one game away from that undefeated season, so uh, you guys can make it happen. All right, so what do you like to do in your free time? Uh, I'll sometimes work out. You said what? Um, What's the first thing you said? I'll work out. Oh. Um, go to the gym. You um, went to like video games, shopping, clothes, whatever, stuff like that. Yeah. You a sneakerhead? What are you into? Uh, not really. Not much of a sneakerhead, really. Yeah. That's fine. Are you Xbox or PlayStation guy? PlayStation. PlayStation. I got you. You got so you got the new PS Five. Yeah. With it. Me too. All right. That's good. That's good. So video games, weightlifting, working out. Um, let's see here. All right. We're gonna talk a little bit of sports now. All right. Is that cool? Mhm. Mm All right. So we got. Um, who's your favorite team in the NFL? We'll start there. Uh, Seahawks. You're a Seahawks fan. Why is that? Uh, I just, I saw them on TV and then I just, ever since I see them, I just liked the Seahawks. Um, who was it, Russell Wilson or something? Yeah, Cam Chancellor. Yeah, and, their defense is pretty crazy back then. They had a lot of big guys in the back, in the secondary for sure. Mm-hmm. All right, so let's talk Let's talk picks, all right? So we got Thursday Night Football this week. We got the Eagles versus the Bucks. Who are you taking? The Bucks. Why? Uh, they're just, to me, a better team. I mean, Jalen Hurts played pretty good last week. You don't think they Yeah. Excuse me, I didn't hear you. What's that? I didn't hear you. I said you, you don't think the Eagles got a chance at all? You think it'll be close? No. Blowout? You calling a blowout? All right. Yes. All right. Now let's talk long term. Who who you got going to the Super Bowl from the AFC and the NFC? Uh, I don't know. You don't know? I couldn't tell you. Dang, nobody? Well, it can't, well, would you even take the Bucks? I mean, you got them blowing out the Eagles. You don't think they can make it? Uh, I think they could. But anything that can happen. That's true. That's true. It is might be too early to tell. I mean, I'm out here in Arizona now, and the Cardinals are five and zero. So I mean, they're looking kind of good. Yeah. And the Bills did just put that work on the um, who did they just play the Chiefs. Yeah. Yeah. That's fair. All right, let's talk NBA now. Who's your favorite team over there? I don't have a favorite NBA team. I usually just follow Russell Westbrook. 
wherever he goes. Yeah, that's fair. So, so you got the Lakers winning it again this year? Yes. All right, that's fair. That's fair. All right, well, I mean, that's pretty much what I got for you. If you got anything you want to say, you want to shout anybody out, let people know about your game this Friday. Where's it at, Center Grove or Cathedral? It's uh, at Cathedral. All right, at Cathedral this Friday at 7 o'clock? Saturday. Oh, Saturday at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, my bad. All right, so Saturday at 10 o'clock, we're shooting for um, undefeated season. Aiden Chase here, CE Stars, uh, Cathedral High School, looking to do his thing on the football field and the basketball court. Uh, thanks for coming with us. Um, you got anything else you want to say? Uh, the Friday night game, Destroying is supposed to be coming. I heard. Who? Uh, the YouTuber, Destroying. He's supposed oh, to be D coming to our game. Oh, that's yeah. it. That might, that might be a good game then. There'll be a lot of be a lot of big group of following there, so I might have to look into that one too. If I was back home in Indy still, I might go, I, I would go check that one out for sure, but that's cool. Yep. So, but thanks for coming in, man. We'll stay in touch. Thank you for having me. Yep, no problem. I don't even know how this stuff works. I ain't gonna hold you. All right, let me see here. Let's see, Lee. <clears throat> All right, cool. Thanks for everybody checking in. I see Aiden got a lot of fans. He'd be doing this thing. Make sure y'all go watch them this weekend, too. <clears throat>